Hey members, welcome back to another member video. Um, today we are going to be talking about scrying with different elements. Now scrying is a form of clairvoyance. It's like a clairvoyant exercise where you're focusing on visuals to get information from um, something about a question that you might have. Now commonly you might see scrying like through crystal balls or like scrying mirrors. Um, but there's actually some cool ways that you can use the elements, the four elements, to actually um, get information on your questions. So I'm going to walk you through four different techniques. I'm going to show you how I do it as well. Um, and basically walk through fire, water, air, and earth, and how you can use scrying with all four of those elements. Now let's start with fire. Now the first and obvious most easy way to use this is by lighting a fire. Probably a fire pit is more prefer preferable because you have more flames. Obviously be safe with all of this. Um, you can also do a single candle flame. And what you wanna do is as you light it up, um, or you know if it's already lit, you can basically say, hey, I have a question, this is my question, make sure you're asking questions the right way, um, and then you expect to see an answer. And you can look into the candle flame, look at it, watch it, and see um, if there's sim like images, or you know, even if the flame dances a certain way, you know, it might mean like high energy or low energy, and you can intuitively at the same time ask, hey, what does this mean? Um, and so watching the flames is one way to do this, but the way I'm going to do it is by doing it with smoke. And what you want to do is get a piece of paper and preferably one that's pretty thick. You don't want something that can catch on fire easily. Do this outside because I did this three other times inside and almost lit things on fire. <laughs> so then what you want to do is light a candle. Um, if you don't have a candle, you could use a lighter, but I, I think having something stationary is better. And then what you want to do is you want to move that piece of paper up above the flame. Now you don't want to get it too close that it's just going to burn up your piece of paper. Um, make sure you have a bucket of water or a bowl of water next to you while you do this because it does take a few times to get it right. And you would rather be prepared than not prepared to put out that fire. Um, and you want to just ask your question, like, what do I need to know about school tomorrow or something? What do I need to know about the rest of the year? And you basically want it to leave kind of ash or soot marks on the bottom of that paper. And then when you're done, you can flip it over and then look for images. Turn it every single which way. Look at it from every single angle and ask yourself, what do I see? And see if there's any symbols or messages or anything that you might see in there seeing like a person lying down almost like they're on a massage table and their hand is like hanging off it's interesting how it took on a different color in some spots definitely see the letter y i'm seeing this as an eye or eyes and a mouse i think if i would have done this a little bit longer i would have gotten some more images out of it but this right here oh can't touch it apparently. Um, this over here almost looks like a fishtail to me. And then ask what that symbol might mean to you. So let's pretend you saw a lion and you ask, okay, well, what do lions mean to me? Oh, maybe they mean strength or pride or something like that. And so maybe that's a message about the rest of the year. I need to watch out for being too prideful or something like that. Um, and so that's how you can use um, flames and kind of the soot that comes off the flames for basically doing a, it's not a flame reading, it's kind of like a candle soot reading. <laughs> um, but either of those ways for fireworks. Now, there's so many different ways you can do this, honestly. You guys should just get creative and let me know in the comments below. This water one I saw from somebody else. And basically what she did was she took watercolor, she painted just random strokes, again, with that, that question or that intention, something you wanna know about, and kind of paint randomly on the page. Don't worry about the outcome. Now, if you live in a rainy spot, what you can do is you can set out this, um, colored piece of paper in the rain. If you don't necessarily have like a lot of rain where you're at, like I'm in Colorado, I don't have very much of that. Um, what you could do is take a squirt bottle or even kind of like throw it under the, the sink for a couple seconds um, and then let it dry. And then once it dries, again, same thing as like that fire soot, you wanna look for symbols. Maybe the water moved things around a little bit. And then you can even take like a pencil or a marker and draw what you see on top of it. 
Um, I just wouldn't recommend doing that one with the fire because the fire um, actually, you know, that soot might get all over your hands. And I forgot to say one of the ways you can preserve that is by just putting some hairspray on it, which is kind of neat. And again, looking at those symbols in the water, asking, okay, what do those symbols mean to me? Is there anything that they might pertain to when it comes to my question? I'm seeing two people right here, one person, another person. I feel like this is a cat right here, like clear eyes and nose and mouth tail <laughs> white cat i wonder if that's my cat sarabi she's been having a lot of medical issues lately i'm seeing like an e um a doorway as i look at this i'm hearing the word perspective like it's all a matter of perspective like this year could be the rest of this year could be great but if i have really bad intentions or i don't know just i'm not grateful then maybe that kind of darkness will overlay on the light. Now, error is obviously a little bit harder. The best way I would recommend doing this is by going out and looking at clouds and scrying with clouds, asking a question, and then looking at the clouds and seeing if you see a different answer. And you can turn, you can, you can look at the clouds from a different um, angle and ask that same question. What is the answer to this? And um, you can see symbols or things in the clouds and again ask what does that mean to me and how does it pertain to this question. Um, if, you, if it's too cold, you can't go outside or something for clouds. Um, another way you could do this is you could put paint on a piece of paper and maybe get a hair dryer or even just use your mouth and kind of blow that paint around and do it just willy nilly. No, you're not trying to make a masterpiece. Just do what you feel guided to do until you feel like you're done. Um, with all of these, do it until you feel like you're done and then kind of blow all around and then let it dry. And then again, see um, what images and symbols might have turned out on that piece of paper. So this one, I definitely use the wrong type of paint. I think acrylic is too thick. You need to probably find something a little bit better, but I didn't have anything. Um, but you guys get the principle of like using um, either your breath or just um, air in general. Heck, if you live in a windy place, you could do this as well. I decided to actually just fold mine up to give you guys another idea of how you can see images in this. And I'm definitely seeing like a moth or a butterfly right here. That's like totally spot on for me right now. I'm seeing butterflies a lot and it's a symbol of like transformation and change. I'm seeing like a screaming person right here. I'm seeing like two people facing each other. Ooh, that is like super cool looking. I feel like mouth eyes like brain <laughs> and so i can ask you know what does that mean how is that relevant to my question i'm gonna have to look up what a scare beetle is all about definitely seeing that like i feel like this is like very like bug related i feel like i'm seeing like a lot of bugs and antennas and insects now earth if you really want to get like earthy with it you could take a piece of paper out into the dirt or even some mud and you can smear mud on top which might be kind of fun you can even just grab random things like sticks and leaves just whatever you feel called to do and just kind of smear it around on the paper um, and then you might need something a little bit thicker for this and then again look for those symbols and interpret them or um, what I prefer to do is use um, candle wax and I know that it's not exactly earth, but it sort of is. And basically you want to get a candle that actually like melts and drips and you want to let it melt um, and then just kind of move that candle around the top of the piece of paper. I know this is kind of fire, but what you're doing is you're reading the candle wax on the piece of paper, not the fire itself. Um, and again, same thing, looking at that candle wax and how it dripped. Do you see any shapes, any images, anything that looks like something that might pertain to your question? Now I let these two candles burn until they felt like stopping. I actually felt like placing them there. I was just sort of using my intuition on where to go and I intuitively was like, okay, they want to stay in one spot from here on out. So let's look for images here. And I think the question for this one was just, I was asking about career and finances and I just kind of grabbed whatever candles I had, but I think it's interesting that I chose purple and gray. 
Because it's almost like the purple is the life of this and then it bleeds into something duller. Spin it. Oh, wow. I immediately just saw like a person, like head, one arm back behind the head, one arm this way, one leg, one leg, dancing, like kicking up. Oh, that is super cool. I love that. This feels like a very like amphibious creature to me. And so I'd have to think about like what amphibious creatures mean. <laughs> I see the poop emoji there. <laughs> very cool. You have to let me know if you guys see anything. Another thing you can do with Earth is you can purposely go on a walk and set the intention that you are going to find a rock or a tree on your walk and you know it's going to provide you information and then you go on your walk maybe you ask your question and then just go where you feel drawn maybe you go to a tree and then look at that tree see if there's any images see if there's any cool like drawings that you might see within it or it might not be that you necessarily see like images but maybe you know you kind of see that it's dark or really light or burnt or something like that and that might pertain to your question so some of these i already knew about some of them i just kind of came up with for you guys but let me know if you have any other fun ways that you like to do this or work with these elements i love these exercises because they're tactile you can use them if you have a certain affinity with one of the elements and it's really fun to just actually create something and then have it with you um, afterwards and so these are all kind of like also other ways of using automatic drawing um, so if you haven't checked out that video do so now um, but let me know what you guys want to see next thank you so much for watching um, and I will see you in my next video bye